Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This video will be about updating your Nexus 4 to Android 4.4 KitKat, which is the latest version of Android as of November 16th, 2013. The prerequisites of this video is that you have a Nexus 4 with an unlocked bootloader. And I will not be showing you how to do that in this video, but unlocking a bootloader is very very easy and you just have to google instructions on how to do that. Without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you have to plug in your Nexus 4. As you could see, I just plugged in mine. You have to go to settings and scroll all the way down to about phone. From about phone, go there and scroll down to build number and keep on tapping build number for four or five times. Now press the back key and you will see that a new option has appeared. It is called developer options. Click that and um, on the top right you will see it says off. Make sure to turn that on, developer options. Now scroll down and enable USB debugging. I'll be doing it on my phone now. And you will be presented with a pop-up. It says allow USB debugging and you have to press OK. As you can see, it's been connected with USB debugging on. You'll get another pop-up on your phone. It says allow USB debugging and press OK. All right, we're set for the first part of the video. Now you have to go to your browser of choice, which in my case is Google Chrome. You have to download something called PDA Net. Oops. PDA Net. Go to the first result, pdnet.co. Press download. Press version 4.1 to installer or whichever version is the latest there. So wait for the file to download and um, once it's downloaded, click on that. Press run and yes. Uh, this is the install shield setup. Keep on pressing next. I accept. Next. Next. Again next. And wait for it to do its stuff. Um, as you can see it's, um, it's not actually updating PDNet on my phone. It's just a message that comes up from there. Uh, you will be presented uh, with an install driver message. Press install anyway on that. Do not press do not install. Press install drivers anyway. Uh, in my case it was not shown because I already had it installed but in your case it will show and you do have to press install. Press finish. So we're done with the second part of the video now. Now you have to download some tools, some platform tools for um, ADB and fastboot. At the moment, what you did was install ADB and Fastboot drivers, but what you need now is ADB and Fastboot, the programs themselves. So without further ado, let's go to uh, download ADB and Fastboot. Um, in my uh, description, I have given you a link to download those files. It's a simple zip archive, uh, but I am already have it saved in my browser. You don't have to do this. You just go to my description. Just press uh, whatever file I gave you to download. It's called platformtools.zip. So download that file. It's just a small one megabyte download. So you gotta open that file and you have to extract this somewhere. Um, I'm just gonna extract it in my downloads folder. Paste. Alright. And now you have to download the factory images for your device. Uh, to do that, I will give you links to the uh, Android factory images, but if you wanna just Hang on with me. This is how you get the factory images for your device. Just look up Nexus factory images. It's the first one, factory images for Nexus devices Android. Look for Nexus 4, here we go. And Android 4.4, here we go. From here, oops, that's Nexus 7. Uh, you have to go to Nexus 4. It's actually hidden up here. So you have to press a link. And I have a download manager, but for for you, it will get started instantly. After the file is downloaded, uh, you will present it with this screen. Or uh, in your downloads folder, you will present it with this file. Uh, for this file, you have to open it in, a, in an archive arch uh, extractor. Uh, for my case, I use 7-zip, so double click it. 7-zip manager. And there's another file that's inside this. You have to extract this to your download folder. So I'm waiting for this to extract. Oh, 
Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so you will be presented with this file again after you do that. Now you double click on this file. Oops, not this file. Uh, this file. You will be presented with a tar file. Remember that. So the way you know that you have extracted it properly is that you will get a folder inside this archive. Double click this folder and select all these files and extract them to platform tools that we extracted earlier. Drag and drop. And now you're all set for this. Um, you don't have to worry about any of these things. Uh, these don't really mean anything for you, but if you do want to check connection to your device, hold shift, right click, and open command window here. You can do fast boot, boot devices. That will run a check, and then you will do ADB devices. Uh, as you can see, this is your oops, this is your device here. This is your uh, ID of your device. So you can check that it's done. Now, if you want, if you're ready to do this, and you want to flash Android 4.4, you have to press Flash All, which I'll be doing now. But there is a warning before you do all of this. This will wipe all your data off your phone. So before you press Flash All make sure to get all your data that you have on your phone off that. Uh, for me, I have no data that's important because I just erased this phone again from factory. So double click flash all when you're all ready. You have no other data on your phone. Remember, this will wipe all your data that's on your phone. So double click flash all and it will say waiting for device. Now, what you have to do is hold power button on your phone and power it off as usual and unplug it while it's powering off. There we go, I have my unplugged. Okay, so mine's shut off now. Now all you have to do is hold volume up and volume down and press the power button together. Volume down, volume up and power button together. Now you will be at this green uh, Android screen with Android lying down and it has blue uh, squares from there. This means it's in bootloader mode, which is exactly what we want for the flash all process to flashing Android 4.4. When you're at the screen with your phone unplugged, plug your phone in. Now, it will be every, everything will be done automatically. Do not do anything to your phone. Um, I will be waiting till this is done to the end. Now it's obviously don't worry about if it says archive does not contain boot.sig, recovery.sig. Uh, those are if you want signed uh, recoveries, if you want to make them yourself. But of course, we don't really care about that one. Um, right now, it's doing everything by itself. Do not do anything to your phone when it's doing this. Do not touch the screen. Do not unplug it. It'll be cut out. It'll just be all hell will break loose. You may even heartbreak your Nexus 4. So wait till this is done and it's sending system, everything. When it's, everything is done, the phone will automatically reboot and you will be ready with Android 4.4. That is all that, is, that there is to it to get Android 4.4. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye now.